Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I have got everyone's favorite boatless angler with us today. We've got Antonio with us on the boat and it's bitter cold. We're sporting the toques this morning. Hey, what, minus two degrees? I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> minus two degrees, but you know what? It's uh, the last day of bass fishing. December is right around the corner here. It's the end of November and we got some great weather, so we're not missing out on an opportunity to get out there and do some smallmouth fishing. Today, folks, we're gonna be running the brand new Sting Nose Jig and Spoon, and uh, we're jigging in about 50 feet of water. And uh, we saw the water temp this morning was 47 degrees out here, so it's, it's nice and cold, but these smallies should be schooling up and feeding up for the winter. And uh, I've got the ounce and three quarter Sting those on you, Antonio. I think I have the exact same. Same one, ounce and three yeah. quarter. That's a perfect size down here in this real deep water. And um, we're gonna hope to bounce these off the bottom and jig up some bass. So stay tuned, folks. Oh, Antonio, this one came up fast, Antonio. Any size to it? <laughs> Decent. That was our first hit of the day, folks. And he came up really fast. He just hit that sting nose and then <laughs> he came up. He thought it was springtime or something. Okay, let's see if I can get him in the net here. Oh, oh boy. He's not huge, Antonio, maybe a couple pounds. Still nice. Yeah, still nice. Okay. Come on, Mr. Smalley. Still wants to get down there. He's full of energy because he came, he came right up oh, in the bag. Okay, there's a great start to our day right there, folks. Yes. All of a sudden, I feel warmer. <laughs> okay, there's a nice chunky fish right there. Okay. Oh, and a good hit, too. Real good hit. Let's see if I can get, get this hook out of him. I might, uh... I might need the needle nose. Nope, my finger's working fine. There we go. There's a nice smallie right there. Let's get him right back in the water. Oh, and away he goes. What a good start to the day. Wow, this is exciting. I can't, I can't wait to get my line back in there again. This is it, Antonio, for bass fishing. Season's over, so we gotta make the best of it today. Oh, folks, where there's one, there's more. Antonio just missed one. <laughs> and no sooner did he miss one than I set the hook on this one. And a nice solid hook set it was. Oh, this jig and spoon, folks. If you've never jig and spoon for fishing, it's just a riot. There he is there. They're coming up quick. Oh, they're coming up quick. Oh, there's another nice smallie right there. I didn't even get a chance to put my gloves on. There's the lip lock. If you're, you ever hear the lip lock, that's how you lip lock a fish. You just stick your thumb right in the mouth, just like that, and then you grab, grab your thumb with the rest of your hand. And that's called a lip lock. I'm on. You're on Antonio too? <laughs> this is it's unbelievable, folks. Where there's one, there's more. I gotta get my line back down there. This You're not is kidding they come up. Hey? Eh? You're not kidding that they come up. They come up fast. Wow. Here, I wanna take a picture of this one, so I'm gonna throw them in the live one, because this is a nice fish. I just swung mine in. It's you swung small. yours in, that's small. Nice, though. So I'm gonna get my line in there. Unbelievable. November fishing, end of November. December 1st is right around the corner. Wow, they're chunky. Yeah, they're feeding up, eh, Antonio? Okay, so my line is going back in. And the technique, if you've never done it, it's just a, a, a lift and pause technique. You've probably heard me talk about the jig and spoon bite. It's just a nice, easy lift. Pa and uh, Oh, Antonio's on another one, and pause. That's the technique. <laughs> hey, Antonio, lift and pause. That's all it was. Oh, man, what a riot we're going to have out here today. Wow, that was fast. Any size to him? Well, it's bigger than the last one I just got, okay. so nice. I'm happy. Nice. This one's staying down. It is. You might have a good one. The last ones have been coming right off, eh? Yeah. Might need the net. Oh, that's a good one. Good fish. Good fish. I see you didn't use the net. I did not need the net. <laughs> Sometimes 
<laughs> oh man, this is great fishing. Wow. Full, full jigging spoon in his mouth. He just hammered it, did he? Yeah. yeah. That's a nice ball. Yeah, they're chunky, eh? They're feeding up for the winter. They know that uh, winter's coming. They feed up. And they're on the feed, and they're feeding on, while well, what they're feeding on are bait fish. They're feeding on smelts and shad and, and large minnows. And that's why the jigging spoon bite is so effective because, well, that's what they're feeding on. And these, uh, these sting nose jigging spoons look like an injured minnow, an injured bait fish. And uh, boy, do they attract the hits. And when they hit, it's a nice solid hit. It's so much fun. If you've never used jigging spoons, you really gotta give them a try. It's a great way to fish. It's so much fun. And you know what? This November fishing, I know it's cold out, but I don't need my gloves anymore. I've warmed up after that first fish. Boom, you just get the adrenaline going and uh, you warm up pretty quick. Folks, <laughs> that one was a jig and a miss. He came right back at it on the pause. I love the jig and pause, folks. You heard me talk about that jig and pause. I just finessed it, jigged it up ever so slightly, let it go down. And then I must have waited almost three seconds before he hit. And then whack, he just hit it. They just can't hesitate, that little finesse vibration. They just can't, they can't resist it. Okay. Antonio, this is another, ah, another decent chunk. Good size. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice hit. Decent fish. There. Just inside, there we go. There's another nice smallie. You're on too, Antonio? Yeah. Folks, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Let's get him back in. This fishing is fishing at its best. Same size? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's fighting pretty good. How do you like that for end of November fishing? That's great. Hey, a lot better than those house rentals you've been doing. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> It's been a while since I've had a bass on. Well, you haven't, haven't fished for a while, right? First time out in a while. That's great. This might be my biggest one yet. He's staying down there, is he? Ooh, oh, it's a nice good one. Oh, oh, nice oh. You got the net? I, I have a net here yet. Yeah. I'd like you to hang on to that one. We're going to snap a photo, okay? All right. And then we'll release them. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good one. I'd say. <laughs> Solid fish, Antonio. <laughs> wow. That's a good thick. See how thick they are? They're thickening up, eh, for the uh, for the winter. Yeah. We're definitely gonna snap a photo. <laughs> we'll get a photo for Instagram and we'll let him back. That's a nice fish. I just lost mine, Antonio. Mine's just coming right up. We had a double header going there. Oh yeah? We had a double header. I lost mine. Ooh, I got another big one. Good fish. Oh, I just missed one, Antonio. I just missed one. Oh, he's coughing some other minnows up. Is Smelts he? or something. Yeah? Yeah, maybe we should check that out. I, well, they're feeding on bait fish. Big time. Big time bait fish feed. Look at this. Eh? Oh, 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 look, look at that compared to the sting nose. Look at that, compare that to the sting nose. It's the same size. <laughs> Talk about match the hatch there. Yeah, look at that. They're eating, they're, eating, they're eating smelts down there. This smelt is actually still alive. Is it? Yeah. They're I just freshly, saw them twitch. Freshly eaten. Unbelievable. And I just missed one too. Well, I'm gonna get this guy back. Nice fish. Need pliers. You got him there in the front. That's a nice smallie. They're chunky, nice chunky fish, eh? Well, if they're eating smelts like that. Yeah, that was really something. That water's cold though. Oh, I got oh nice hook set. Yeah, no, this one, let's see it. I don't, <laughs> I almost had a double on that last one, Antonio, but I lost mine. This one gave me a good bite. I don't, well, he's, he's dogging it. He's dogging it pretty good, actually. Okay. I didn't, count as a double. Hey, I, didn't, I didn't let mine go yet, so. <laughs> you didn't? 
Okay. Well, it's close enough for a double. Oh, this one's no, nowhere near as big as yours. Nowhere near as big. But every bit is fun. There's a nice... There's chunky, though. Even these small ones are chunky, Antonio. <laughs> that was a solid, solid, solid hit there, folks. My goodness, what a hit. Antonio, that one just hammered it. This is unbelievable. Folks, I got to tell you, if you haven't yet, you got to get out. Don't mind the cold weather. Just dress for it. It's too much fun out here. Oh, yeah, there he is there. Okay. Okay. I've tucked him out, I think. Come on, Mr. Smalley. Okay. There we go. There's another nice chunky fish. These are real solid chunky fish right there. Real solid chunky fish. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Okay, get him right back in. Okay, and away he goes. My line's going back in there again, folks. Like I say, don't worry about the cold weather. Just dress for it. And if you haven't, get some jigging spoons. Get out there. And uh, when it comes to bass fishing, don't waste any time. Right down to the last day, get out there and start fishing. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to be out here. So the sun goes down i'm going to take advantage of every minute out here today because it is absolutely gorgeous folks i want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of thunderous fishing tips and if you haven't yet feel free to subscribe we've got a lot more fishing coming your way all year round and as always until next time good luck and good fishing control of my jigging spoon you want to be able to fish as vertically as possible oh yeah and there's a nice smallie right there